What's up guys, Shake Around Roll coming back at you with another video, and today we are back doing our college football predictions for whatever week it is. Um, week 8. So yeah, let's hop into this. There are 10 teams remaining that are undefeated. Some of these teams, I believe, are frauds. There is only one of these teams that I believe won <laughs> the year undefeated. And Oh, actually, that's, that's not true. UTSA is playing good football uh so is smu they could definitely do it but with a tilt at cincinnati i believe cincinnati could go undefeated um oklahoma state probably not <laughs> i mean you never know in the big 12 man michigan i'm gonna say no man they still got a really tough schedule but yeah let's hop into some week eight predictions I think Coastal will get the win. I think that game happened last night, but I don't know. Um, I normally don't do these games to kind of fly through the non... Now, this is a kind of good game. Memphis and UCF. I don't really know what's happening. Like, UCF did not look good that last week against Cincinnati, but I'm going to go UCF. I just... I don't even know why they're yellow, really, right there, but whatever. Uh... Washington and Arizona. I believe this game is today. And I'm going with uh, Washington. I just... If Arizona wins, man. They haven't got a win all year. I'm going Washington. UMass, FSU. I'm going FSU. UMass is probably the worst team in college football. D1. I'm going FSU. Oklahoma will just manhandle Kansas. I mean, they'll probably be close, but... Oklahoma will manhandle them. I'm just assuming... I just wish Oklahoma would lose. I hate Oklahoma so much, man. I think Cincy will go into Navy and get the win. They're, they're, Cincinnati's a really good team. Uh, might, in my opinion, be ranked a little bit too high just because of, like, them not being, like, a Power 5 school, but it is what it is. I think Penn State will beat Illinois. Like, it, Penn State's a really good team. Illinois, not really so much. K-State, Texas Tech, I'm going with the home team here. I'm going with Texas Tech, Tyler Shook, and Texas Tech get the win. I think Arkansas will get back on track this week. They've had a few tough losses. I'm going with Arkansas. I think they'll get the win. Michigan at home, big noon Saturday on Fox. I, I just don't see Michigan losing to a team like Northwestern. Wake and Army. Now, this is honestly going to be kind of a good game, and I'm going with Wake just because they're undefeated. They have not lost a game yet. They're playing really good. Army, though, look out. They're all, they always tend to just hang in there, I guess. Syracuse, Vatek. I'm going Vatek at home. Could see Syracuse getting upset just the way they've been playing. I'm going Vatek. Wisconsin, Purdue. Uh, Purdue is now ranked 25 inside the top 25. They're ranked. And when Purdue does this, man, they're, they, they're just ultimately not good. I'm going Wisconsin. This this is the game where Purdue will just show how, like, they're not good and they're frauds. <laughs> Oklahoma State and Iowa State. I also think this will be a low-key kind of good game. I'm going with Oklahoma State. They're just, again, undefeated. Like, you can't deny it. Iowa State has I thought they were going to, like, compete for the Big 12 title. I was wrong. That is not accurate at all. We're going to Oklahoma State. Clemson and Pitt. I'm going with Pitt. Kenny Pickett's probably playing the best football and college football at the quarterback position. Clemson is just not good this year. <laughs> we'll say that. Colorado, Cal. I am going with Cal, I think. Colorado, again, it's just... They probably should be A&M, which would have been a huge win, but they did not. Oregon and UCLA, game of the week. I am going with Oregon. College game day is going to UCLA. I think it'll be a pretty good game. I'm going with Oregon, though. Just I think they have too many, like, too much talent to lose that game. LSU will miss. I'm going with the Rebels. Again, Matt Corral is so, so good. Uh, LSU coming off a big win, and then they'll just flop, I, I have a feeling. Uh, I'm going with Ole Miss. Maryland, Minnesota. Minnesota does not look good this year. After that, Ohio State, like, two, three great quarters of play. But they lost Ibrahim, man, and they're just nothing. I'm going Mar uh, Maryland. 
BYU, I think, will get the win in Washington State. Washington State is it's not good this year. BYU was ranked 10 at one point. That was way too high, but I'm going with BYU. I think BC will get the road win in Louisville. Louisville, again, they're just honestly not playing that good. I like BC this year. Uh, they, they're they contending with some teams for sure. Mississippi State at Vandy. Vandy is not good. I'm going Mississippi State. Now, here are two low-key kind of good non-Power 5 games. San Diego State undefeated travels in the Air Force. I'm going with San Diego State. I could definitely see Air Force winning that one, though. Nevada and Fresno. This is a very... I'm back and forth on this one. Fresno has only lost a few games, but they have played, let me tell you, a lot of Power 5 opponents. Like, let's look at their schedule right now. Um, they lost, ooh, they lost to Hawaii. I am not going with Fresno, man. They kept check with Oregon. They did, they beat UCLA, but uh, Hawaii? L? No way, I'm going with Fresno. I'm going with Nevada. Carson Strong is probably the best quarterback in the 2022 NFL draft. Uh, just because he's got a just killer arm that is just... A rocket. Uh, UTSA, I think we'll stay undefeated, probably. Alabama will just destroy Tennessee. Ohio State, Indiana, Saturday Night Football already. Man, I'm flying through this way too fast. Like, I already have my talking points ready and stuff. I'm not, like, deciding on games here. Ohio State, I think we'll get the win. It, this feels like a game that they would just lose, so. Prime time. Everyone's watching. And they just go in and get destroyed by Indiana. I mean, they've done it to Purdue. Purdue has done that to them. Iowa's done that to them in recent years. I'm going with the, the Buckeyes, so. I think Notre Dame and will be UCLA. I mean, UC, USC in a very good game. Uh, they always are going to be close because they just make it close because it's a rivalry game. Uh, but, yeah, I think Notre Dame will get the win. Um, USC is just not look good enough this year. For me to put them right there. So I, I got to go with Notre Dame. Utah and Oregon State. I want to go Oregon State. I feel like last week's win for Utah. Maybe we'll put them up a little bit. And then they, they'll just not look good this week. I just have a feeling about it. Because they're going into Oregon State. And Oregon State is honestly, I believe, played kind of good this year. If I remember correctly. I got to go for it. Yeah, they're 5-2. and two. Who have they lost to? They lost to Purdue, ranked opponent. Ooh, Washington State, that is not a good team. Let's go look at Utah real quick. We got to find out where they are. Uh, because I know last week they did beat Arizona State, and Arizona State was... I honestly think I think Arizona State... Ooh, where is Utah. Apparently, they're just missing, and they, they're not a college football team anymore. I'm going to go with Oregon State, though. I think they'll get the win. Uh, I think the Aggies will beat the Gamecocks. The Aggies are playing pretty good. They even beat Alabama, which is something to be proud of. West Virginia and TCU, I'm going with TCU. West Virginia, they've lost a lot of games this year. I'm going with TCU. NC State in Miami, the Wolfpack are honest. They're, they're ranked. They're playing really good. And then they're, they're, I think they go to Miami and get the win. Miami's not playing great. I'm saying that about a lot of teams. They're not playing great, man. I feel like I'm knocking on them. And I'm going to go with Virginia. Pretty self-explanatory there. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do, if you liked it, subscribe. I do one of these every single week. So, uh, please come back next time, I guess. I have a second channel. Jake around roll hoops. You'll find it somewhere like on the whatever it's called. I have it linked down. I got what you guys are probably aren't even listening. All right, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video.